In March 2003, the Royal Mail released this set of fun fruit and veg stamps. It says so in the title. Apparently the project for this set of stamps started back in the 1990s, but was shelved as the idea was considered too ahead of its time. However, a couple of years later, when the brief returned as a set of interactive stamps, loosely aimed at children, technology had moved on and these 10 photos of fruit and veg were taken. Now what makes these stamps so weird you might ask? Remove the cellophane and the backing. Let's remove the stamps. Okay, when you open them up, they come with a set of 72 stickers. The idea was that you could create your own vegetable faces. And here in the bottom right corner, we have an example of one such face. So you would choose your favorite stamp, stick it to the envelope, and then be as creative as you like with the facial expressions, hats, boots, and other items of clothing from this sticker set down the bottom here. Here are a few examples created by the great British public, which are fairly tame. There are a few designs, however, that were sent out that would certainly raise a few eyebrows and make you blush if you saw how inventive people had been with the placement of some of these stickers. So starting with the top left we have the strawberry, potato, apple, red pepper, the pear, orange, tomato, lemon, a brussels sprout and an eggplant at the bottom there. They come in this fold out card which reads Day after day the country's finest fruit and vegetables are snatched from their warm beds, bundled up and forced into trucks. At the supermarket, they are squashed into boxes, shrink wrapped and displayed on the fresh food shelves. And now, having been imprisoned for days with their sell by date looming, our plucky heroes can see the great wheelie bin in the sky beckoning. Unless, that is, they can make a great escape. Open it up and you can see the fruit and veg plotting their World War II style escape. There we go. Just pause it if you want to read what they're up to. I wonder which one of these is Steve McQueen. On the back here, it looks like we have four vegetables that attempted the great escape. And a little explanation about their subsequent fate. So there you have it. This has been part two of my Weird Stamps mini-series that I'm currently doing. If you didn't see the first video in this series, I'll put a link to it at the end of this video. Click on it if you're interested in watching that one. More unusual stamps will be coming up in future videos. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and until the next one, bye for now.